Hello guys, in this video tutorial we will tell you how to create a chatbot and deploy it on your website. Go to our chatbot builder and click on get started. Enter the name of your bot which you wish to create. Next select the type of bot you want for your business. You can select bot types from a wide variety of bots such as inquiry bot, appointment bot, live chat bot, answer bot, item ordering bot, course enrollment bot, recruitment bot, and much more. For now, let's select the inquiry bot. Once you have selected the bot type, you need to create an account to preview your chatbot. Click on create account and you will be redirected to the sign up login page. If you already have an account, click on login to continue, else sign up. If you sign up using email, you will receive a verification code at your email address. Enter the verification code to log in. You also have an option to sign up using your Google account. Once you have successfully logged into your AppyPod chatbot account, you'll be redirected to the chatbot's design customization section, where you can change the look and feel of your chatbot. Here you will see basic and advanced settings. Let's first check the basic settings. This is the header name, which is by default set as the bot type you selected earlier. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. Next comes widget badget style. You can choose the widget icon from the available options and check how it looks like on the simulation screen. Now let's set the theme color for your widget. Select any of the colors from the given options or from the color picker. Once you have selected the color, the color will be reflected on the entire widget. Now let's set the chatbot avatar. Select an avatar that you wish to show alongside each bot message. You can preview the changes on the simulation screen. Now let's go to advanced settings. From here you can customize the background and text color of the widget's header. Next is the background color. You can set a gradient or color in the widget's background. If you want to change the background color, you can select your preferred color. In the chat bubble section, you can customize both bots and visitors message bubbles color. You can also select the color for the text in the messages here. Similarly, you can set the send button and bot button color. From here, you can change the widget badge badge style and its background color. If you want, you can also upload an icon for the widget badge style and set a position for your widget. In the chatbot avatar section, you can set the avatar and even upload any image for your chatbot avatar. You can preview the changes on the simulation screen. Once you're done with the bot's design and customization, click on save and next. When click on save and next, you'll see the bot flow tab along with the design customization tab. Now let's set the bot flow. Here you can set up your bot flow and change the conversation flow of the bot as per your needs. You can add your desired questions here that you want to ask the visitors. Now you'll be guided through the simple steps to set up the bot conversation flow. Let's check the first knot, which is the welcome message for the visitor. Click on the edit icon or the cogwheel icon to change the conversation text of the first knot. Enter the desired text and add emojis if you want. Once done, click on save as drop. You can view the changes on the simulation screen. Now let's check out the second knot, which is the bot question. You can edit the bot question text as well as the bot respond text. You can also set a user response that is the user can either enter text or select the response from the dropdown. If you want, you can also make the bot message optional. Example, the visitor will be able to skip the bot question. Once done, click on save as draft and preview the changes on the simulation screen. To delete the knot, click on the cogwheel icon and then click delete. Similarly, you can change the content of the existing knots to obtain the name, email, feedback, and other details from the visitor and simultaneously send an inquiry to the concerned team. You can frame the questions and set up a bot response for the same, so once a user inquires, the defined response is delivered to the user. If you want, you can also add a new knot in between the other two knots by clicking on the plus icon. You can add a new type of conversation from the defined list, such as a file upload, gender, country, etc. After you have edited the bot's flow and customized content as per your requirements, you can preview the bot's flow on the simulation screen. Once you're done with the bot flow and design customization, click on save and next and you'll be redirected to the setup section. Now your bot is ready for implementation. 
In the setup section, you'll find two ways to implement your bot's widget on your website. You can install the widget either manually by simply copying and pasting the widget code mentioned here in the body section of each page of your website, or else you can email the code to your developer by clicking the send widget code button. On clicking the send widget code button, a pop-up will open where you can enter the developer's email and type the necessary message for your developer. After adding the developer details and editing the email content, click on send instructions. An email will be sent to the developer for deploying the code. Once your bot gets implemented, you can test your bot on the website. If your bot is not installed, you can verify the widget code installation and follow the troubleshooting steps to solve the issue. Once you have successfully implemented your bot, you will see the congratulations screen. Now let's go to your chatbot's dashboard. On the dashboard, you will see the list of all the bots created. Here you will see your bot status, active or inactive, widget implementation status, bot's name, bot's ID, bot's type, date and time, and which the bot was last updated, name of the person who updated the bot, and hands off completed. You can also check your current plan and upgrade your plan to gain access to more features of your bot. Click on the three dot icon to edit the bot, view analytics and delete the bot. You can also search and filter the bot by bot status on the dashboard. Similarly, you can create multiple bots with AppyPod's Chatbot Builder and implement them on your website to deliver an excellent customer experience. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.